Hello people and I hope all of you are doing well and welcome to my guide. Well, it's not really a guide, but I'm going to talk about Kazuya's wall standing 1 plus 2, his new move. And I'm pretty sure about what you, all of you are thinking. All of you read the title and I know the title. It's pretty accurate now, isn't it? <laughs> For serious though, I'm gonna be talking about the new move and I'm gonna be mostly talking about, not mostly, almost all of it mostly talking about the negatives of it because I don't see anyone talking about that well everyone keeps praising it to be honest and that's why I just you know decided I'm gonna make this video so now if you look at the screen oh oh damn a folder that I needed appeared magically from above from the heavens it descended upon me I'm just act surprised like that but yeah but also you might have noticed that I'm not in practice mode like most other content creators yeah so my video will be a little bit different than the others because I don't like being in practice mode while you guys wait for me to record some stuff while I try to demonstrate everything so I have a little bit of a different format I hope this won't take as long and maybe maybe it's good who knows? It will be a little bit of an experiment as well. So, let's open this little folder up right here. Oh! Oh! Three big folders right in our face. The combos of the new move, the negative side of the new move, and the positive side of the new move. But as I said, today it will take too long to cover all three. I'll only be talking about the negatives since I don't see anyone talking about them. But you do want to see me cover the positives and the combos as well. Leave a like, co comment about it if you want to see me do it. And uh, of course, my next video will be about that. But for now, I'll only be talking about the things that no one else talks about, which are the negatives. Everyone's just glorifying it. Wall standing, tracking, look, Azia, OP now. Nah. I'll tell you the real harsh truth. Like Azia means should know. But everyone else should know as well, it just should be out there. So. Without further ado, I'll just open the negatives folder and see what's in there. Damn, aren't these a lot of videos? These are a lot of videos. Wow. I didn't think it would be that many, to be honest. But okay, if you read some of the video titles, you would understand. Those aren't actually the real negative sides of the move. I just had to do it. But if we click the real negatives right here, not, not as many. But still, it's not that little as well, is it? But yeah, as I said, this will be a little bit of a different format. So I want to be a little bit more straightforward as well. I won't take as much time. And I'll be explaining some stuff as we go as well. So I think this will be informative. And I'll call this guide kind of semi-detailed. It's not that detailed, but semi-detailed would be a good thing to call it, I guess. Let's make ourselves comfortable. Make the screen so we can see the video well. While the folder is still there, a little bit. But the first thing that we're going to cover is the range of the new move. This is the one that's very easy to see. The range isn't that good. Everyone can see that. But I still want to, you know, showcase it because it is a real negative of the move. So, from above, it begins to found us. Just like that. So let's start, start the video. And you can easily see... That doesn't actually have that good of a range. Which I'm sure most of you did notice. But... I'm pretty sure you didn't know that one backdash is enough most of the time to avoid it in many many situations. But what does that mean? That means they're free to whiff punish you. So the whiff recovery of it is really important. That's why the next video is whiff recovery. But if you noticed, I skipped the tracking of tracking of it. Tracking video of it. Why is it in the negatives? Isn't that a good thing? Yeah, about that. I'm gonna do the tracking videos in the last couple of minutes of the video because they're the most talked about I guess so first I want to see 
The whiff recovery? What is the whiff recovery of the new move? So I'm gonna compare it to back two here. 14. To 15. So the new move actually recovers one frame faster than back two. And back two has a pretty long whiff recovery, but it compensates for it by having follow-ups like back to one or back to four. But while saying one plus two does not have that privilege, so if you whiff that, that's actually a lot of recovery. That's 29 frames of whiff recovery. So it's not that good. You know, even on parry, Jin can launch you for it. Can can. But yeah, this is another minus that I found. You can't whiff it, basically. Now for the usage of it, because I think the usage is very, very important. There are two kinds of usages, the crouch dash usage, so you wave dash. And there's also a wave dash into crouch usage. I'll be demonstrating both of them. The first one, I want to show the people who, call them, who are the so-called elitists, who may say that I suck at using the move from wave dash. I don't have the execution for it, that's why I'm just you know, complaining, but this is the video to show that that's not the case, because I am pretty consistent with it. This is my first ever video of recording it, you can believe it or not, I really won't care. But this is how many times I can do it without missing time. Most of the time, not always. Yeah, I messed it up there. And I messed up with the wall standing uh, 1 plus 2, which is a Thunder Rat Fist, which will be the topic of my next video, which I'll be also be talking about and explaining everything. This will showcase what you can mess up with. So, the drawbacks of the actual wave dash or crouch dash usage of it. You can mess it up with the back 1 plus 2, as you can see there. Wall standing 1 plus 2. Most frequent mess ups will be from that. So back 1 plus 2 is punishable, it's minus 12, you'll be, you'll get a pretty chunky punish from that. Or the Thunder God Fist while standing 1 plus 2, you'll get launched for it. So messing it up gives you a lot and a lot of punishment opportunities if you're playing against the Kazuya who messes it up. And there's also the usage that we, we can go wave dashing and then to crouch, as I'm gonna showcase here, then use the new move. But you can mess that up. By those three moves. So as you saw there, you can mess it up by doing back one plus two, let me replay that. Back one plus two. You can do an ultimate tackle. Or just a standing one plus two. Now, this does give your opponent less punishment opportunities, like they can't launch you for the Thunder God Fist, but crouching into it isn't that good of a solution. It's worse than the wave dash. It will track a little bit less, it's riskier. I just won't recommend it, but it is an option, so... I did keep it as a video, of course. I'm gonna show you guys everything, of course. Like, no doubt. Let's go to the next one. Wow. Wow. This is the one that really surprised me when I... No, actually realized that it happened. You actually have to be really, really close to wall splat your opponent. As you saw from the video, I wave dashed in, did the new move, then wall splat him. It just didn't happen. So, it is a very big negative that it needs a very close range for it to wall splat. Or else it will just do the normal plus 14, which is not that bad, but of well, of course, a wall splat is much better. Also a very big negative, which comes next. Counter hits do not wall splat. So imagine you're going in, wave wing in, they're at the wall, they press something. They will not get wall splatted. Not only that, you will not get a combo. You only get a combo from a specific angle, if the wall is to your left side. Which I will discuss in the combo section if you guys do request it, as I said at the start of the video. I will be covering that. But other videos showcase that as well. But of course if you want me to cover it, I will. Let's go to the next one. This is a very big negative for me that the counter does not wall splat. Because wall splats are really important. It gives a lot more damage than the counter property of the new move. 
So as I said, tracking will be last, but this 443. What this video will showcase is that on a hit, while standing 1 plus 2 does get plus 14, but you have to remember that the mix-up you can get from here, you can't use 443. Now, it demonstrates why. I want you to look. It whiffs. You're plus 14. Plus 14. And whiffs. I want to mention that I did, did 443 as fast as I could there. As fast as I could. But still, I can sidestep it. Not only can you sidestep it. Let's say the other Gazia player does a forward throw 3 and the health suit mix-up. This is one of the things that you can do. Notice my movement. Yeah. That doesn't seem that good now, does it? I don't think that seems that good, let me be honest. So what that showcased is that 443 is steppable, and if they try to mix you up with a health sweep with the same timing, which is a proper mix-up, you can sidestep and duck as an option select to avoid the 443 and duck the hell sweep. Launch punch both of them both of them. So wow, 443 is not usable after that on hit. That's pretty big step down for what people think it gives, right? Because most people do think 443 is usable. Because we have plus 14, right? It's so much plus. But no, it's still steppable. I'm sorry to all the Azuya mains. People will step this now if they know about it. But everyone should know. Now let's go to the tracking of the move, which everyone talks about. Everyone, every single one. Let's see. It's tracking, huh? Hmm. That just showcased that it's not really a tracking move. Just a little bit nitpicky. I agree. I'm pretty sure you, that's what you guys are thinking. Look. Infant stages. It is a little bit nitpicky, but it did happen to me in real matches a few times. Not that many. I'll be honest here, not that many. But what happened more than a few times is the next video, which happens in the alt stages. Oh. Oh. What? happened here? What happened here? That was, that was very weird. For people saying that it's a tracking move? That shouldn't happen to a tracking move. Now what happened there is I want to explain that when the wall is there and you use a wave dash while standing 1 plus 2, it's actually really really weird how they can step you to the left. And I, I want you guys to notice that it's left, not right. I would be fine if it was right, because Gazia's weak side is left. So there, are, in my opinion, there are a lot better options to do, both at the wall and outside of the wall, which I will showcase at the next video. So that's wall standing 1 plus 2. So I told the wall, I think that down back 2 may be a better option to use. It gives a guaranteed forward forward 4 on hit. You don't need a counter hit for it. Yes, while standing 1 plus 2 has superior tracking, I'm not denying it. But if you use a wave dash mix up into down back 2, down back 2 has a little bit of tracking as well. So I don't think it's that bad of an option to go for. That's why I think it's actually a better option to go for. Now at the wall. New move all splats. Do note my uh, previous video that I showed that it needs a lot. You need to be very close for it to actually wall splat. Now, whoa! We have another move that wall splats. Does the same damage. 56 for both of them. So, let's see the options here. While standing one plus two that you can do from crouch or wave dash, which you can fuck up both times, or uh, up forward 3 or, or up 3 input, both works, that can wall splat from much further range, by the way, than the wall standing 1 plus 2. Also low crushes, 
and is also minus 9, just like the while standing move. And it also falls flat on counter hit, which the new move does not. So at the walls, I think I'm pretty sure that up 3 and up 4 3 are the better options to do. Well, I'm not that sure on down back 2, but I'm still more on, more on the side that thinking it's a better move to use outside of the walls than the new, new move. I'm not saying that new move is unusable. I'm not saying that. Well, I'm not even saying that it's trash. There's a question mark in the title. You guys should know, understand that. But I'm saying that it's not as good as everyone thinks it is. It's not. It's not even that usable, to be honest. If you see Kazuya players play in a, a serious match, they won't use this this often. They just won't. And it's just how it is. So everyone, this will be the end of it. As I said in the start of the video, I'll repeat myself once more. If you guys want me to cover the positive side and the combo side of things, which I do have some setups as well, some setups, some combos not too many people know about. Uh, leave a comment, leave a like, I'll do it for the next one. But yeah, thanks for watching again, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys take care.